question one Michaela is planning an event in a 5400 square foot room if there should be at least eight square feet per person what is the maximum number of people that could attend this event so that will be 5400 divided by eight so eight into 648 68 into 756 so that would be 675. In the figure three lines intersect at point B if x is 65 and y is 75 what is the value of z? So x is 65 and y is 75. If this is 75 this angle will also be 75. So then 65 plus 75 plus z is 180. So 140 plus Z is 180. So Z is 40. If 1 by 2X minus 1 by 6X is 1, what is the value of X? So 3X minus X is 1. So 2X is 6. So X is 3. The scatter plot above shows eight data points in the XY plane. A line of best fit is also shown for the data. If each data point is shifted three unit upwards and a new line of best fit for the shifted points is drawn, how will the value of the y-intercept of the new line compare with that of the line below? Okay, so we are moving the entire line three units up. So the new line will look like this, right? So the y-intercept will go from one to four. So it will increase. Lines L and K in the XY plane above are the graphs of the equations in a system. How many solutions does the system have? So they intersect at one point. So it has one solution. Gerardo has three blue shirts and W white shirts in his closet. And these are the only shirts that he has. If Gerardo selects a shirt at random from his closet, which of the following is the probability that he selects a white shirt? So total number of shirts is three plus W. So white would be W by three plus W. So option A. The vertical height in meters of the upper arch of the Harbour Bridge in Sydney above the roadway of the bridge can be modeled by the function above, where X is the horizontal distance along the roadway in meters from the entry to the bridge. The graph of y is equal to fx is shown below. In the graph, the point 0, 0, represents the entry to the bridge, which of the following represents the exit from the bridge at the opposite end. So exit from the bridge would be uh, this one, 500, 0. So that's option D. The graph of y is equal to fx is a line in the xy plane that passes through the point 0, 2 and has a slope of 5. Which of the following equations could define the function? So slope is 5 and y intercept is 2 because it passes through 0, 2. So y is mx plus c, which is 5x plus 2. So d. The scatter plot above shows the citrus production in millions of metric tons in China from 2006 through 2014. Which of the following could be a slope of the line of best fit? Okay, so let's say my line will look something like this. So I can say that it's going from about a change of five from 15 to 22 in two years. So about 2.5, so A. The function f is defined above, which of the following is not an x-intercept of the graph of the function. So negative 4, 1, and 3 by 2, these are all x-intercepts. So the one that is not an x-intercept is option b, negative 2 by 3, comma 0. The length CT in inches of a channel catfish in an Iowa River T years after the first year of life can be approximated by the linear function C. Some values of CT are given in the table above. 
the length of a flathead catfish in the same Iowa River t years after the first year of life can be approximated by the linear function f defined above. According to the model, which of the following is closest to the expected age to the nearest whole year of a flathead catfish that is 31 inches long? Okay, so 31 is 3t plus 4. So that's 27 is 3t. So t is 9, right? So after the first year of life, so total age is 10 years. Which of the functions could define c as a function of t? Okay, so the slope here is going to be 11 minus 8.5, which is 2.5. Uh, so then b and d are out. And we can write c as 2.5 t plus k and put the first value. So 8.5 is 2.5 plus k. So k is 6. So C is 2.5 T plus 6, option A. The results of an international survey of contact lens fittings during a given time period are summarized in the table and bar graph above. The table shows the number of total fittings and the mean age of the patients who were fitted for contact lenses during the time period. The total fittings consisted of new contact lens fittings and refittings. The bar graph shows the percent of the patients who received new fittings and the percent who received uh, refittings. Okay. What is the range of the mean ages of the patients surveyed who had contact lens fittings in the country shown? Okay, so range would be highest minus smallest. So highest is this and smallest is this, so 36.3 minus 26.6, so that is 9.7 C. Of the following, which best approximates the number of patients surveyed who received refittings in New Zealand? Okay, so New Zealand, it was 721 total, and refittings in New Zealand would be uh, so it's about uh, new fittings is about 40%. So refittings is 60%, but it's a little more than 60%. So 0.6 into this, six ones are six, two carry one, 43 point, uh, 432.6. So then that would be a little more than that. So 447, option C. A park ranger asked a random sample of visitors how far they hiked during their visit. Based on the responses, the estimated mean was found to be 4.5 miles with an associated margin of error of 0.5 miles. Which of the following is the best conclusion? It is likely that all visitors hiked between 4 and 5 miles. So this is the mean, right? Not the exact distance. So I don't like A. It is likely that most visitors hide exactly 4.5 miles. No, it is not possible for any visitor to have hiked less than three miles. No, that's not correct. It is plausible that the mean distance hiked for all visitors is between four and five miles, right? Because it goes from 4.5 minus 0 0.5 to 4.5 plus 0 0.5. So the mean distance is likely to be between those two values. The table above shows the observed mating frequencies among a group of fruit flies raised on either a starch medium or a maltose medium. What fraction of the observed matings were between fruit flies that were raised on the same medium? Okay, so total is 59 and starch and starch is 22 and maltose and maltose is 20. So that would be 42 by 59. So D. The figure above shows a graph with six regions that correspond to temperature in degrees Fahrenheit and humidity conditions in grams of water vapor per cubic meter of air that will result in different snow crystal shapes when the crystals are grown in laboratory. 
based on the graph, which of the following is a combination of temperature and humidity at which prisms will occur? Okay, so prisms is this. Uh, five degree Fahrenheit. Five degree Fahrenheit is here somewhere. So that's outside prisms. 15 degree Fahrenheit, yeah. And 0.18. No, 0.18 is way above. So this is out. 20 degree Fahrenheit and 0 0.02. Uh, yes, that works. And 30 degree Fahrenheit and 0 0.08. 0 0.08 would be here. So 30 degree Fahrenheit would not work with that. So C. A sample of 44th grade students was selected at random from a certain school. The 40 students completed a survey about the morning announcements and 32 thought the announcements were helpful. Which of the following is the largest population to which the results of the survey can be applied? So you can apply it to all the fourth grade students in the school. Uh, no, not just the 40 students, uh, all fourth grade students at the school. Not all students at the school because we don't know how other grade students will react to the morning assignments. And definitely not all fourth grade students in the county. So B. Ryan is comparing five different hay balers, machines that make bales of hay. The bales made are all in the shape of a cylinder as shown below. The price of each hay baler and the dimensions of the bales of hay to makes are shown in the table below. Okay, so this is the diameter, this is the width and the price. Of the following, which ratio is closest to the width of bales made by hay baler A? Okay, uh, to the width of hails made by hay baler D. So 46 to 62. 46 to 62. So we can just plot that into the calculator. No, actually, we don't need to because all these three options are greater than one. So the only option that's less than one is A. Which of the following is closest to the percent by which the price of hay baler E exceeds the price of hay baler C? So E is 46,900 and C is. 32,000. So the price of E exceeds the price of C. Okay. So that would be 46,900 minus 32,000 divided by 32,000. So that's uh, 0, 00941 divided by 32,000. So when you plug that into the calculator, you get 14,900 divided by 32,000. So that's 46.6%, 46.6% D. Which ordered pair is a solution to the system of equations above? Okay, so if I add the two equations, I will get 2x is x squared minus 2. So x squared minus 2x minus 2 is 0. So x is minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac. So that's plus uh, 8 divided by 2. So 2 plus minus root 12 divided by 2. So that's 2 plus minus 2 root 3 divided by 2. So that is 1 plus minus root 3. So x is 1 plus or minus root 3. So the only option that is possible is option A. The graph of the exponential function in the xy plane passes through the points 0, 1, 1, 4 and 2, 16. Okay. So 0, 1, 1, 4, and 2, 16, right? So this is how the function will look. Okay. Which of the following is not true? A line can be drawn that does not intersect the graph of G. Yeah, that is true. So it's not this. A line can be drawn that intersects the graph of G at exactly one point. Yeah, that's true. I can make a tangent 
like this. So this is true. A line can be drawn that intersects the graph of G at two points. Yeah, that is also true. I can make a line that intersects it at two points. A line can be drawn that intersects the graph at three points. No, so three points it can't intersect. In a right triangle, the tangent of one of the acute angles is root three by three. What is the tangent of the other acute angle? Okay, so let's say this is theta. So tangent is root three by three. So this is the other acute angle. So its tangent would be three by root three D. In the xy plane, line L has a slope of two. If line K is perpendicular to line L, which of the following would be an equation of line K? Okay, so if line L has a slope of two, then the slope of line K would be negative half because perpendicular line slopes are negative reciprocals of one another. So let's find the slope. So the slope of a line written in AX plus BY is equal to C form is negative a by b so the slope here is negative a by b right so that would be negative 2 here it would be 1 by 2 here it would be plus 2 and here it would be negative 1 by 2 since we want the slope to be negative 1 by 2 it's d The diagram above represents Edward T. Hall's concept of space surrounding a person defined by four non-overlapping regions. Intimate space is the region inside a circle of radius one foot. Personal space is the region within a circle of radius four feet, but outside intimate space. Social space is the region within a circle of 12 feet, but outside personal space. And public space is the region within the circle of 25 feet radius, but outside social space. What is the area of the shaded region representing a person's social space? Okay, so social space was the region with a radius of 12 feet. So outside radius is 12 feet and inside is the personal space, which is the radius of 4 uh, feet. So the area of the shaded region would be uh, pi r o squared minus pi r i squared. So that's 144 minus 16 pi. 144 minus 16 pi. So that's 128 pi b. Anita created a batch of green paint by mixing two ounces of blue paint with three ounces of yellow paint. She must mix a second batch using the same ratio of blue and yellow paint as the first batch. If she uses five ounces of blue paint for the second batch, how much yellow paint should Anita use? Okay, so two by three is five by X. So X is uh, 7.5. So she should use 7.5 ounces. So not five, three ounces more than what she used in the first batch. So that's not true. Three plus three is six. 1.5 times the amount she used in the first batch. 1.5 into three is 4.5. So that's not true. 1.5 times the amount of blue she used in the second batch. So five into 1.5 is 7.5. Yeah, so D. In the equation above, A is a constant. For what value of A does the equation have infinitely many solutions? Okay. So AX minus 12 minus 8X is negative 12. So A minus 8X minus 12 is minus 12. So for this equation to have infinite solutions, the constant term should be equal, which they are and the coefficients of x should be equal. So since there is no x on the right-hand side, a minus 8 should be 0. So a is 8. The wholesale price of a kilogram of lentils decreased by 1% from the previous month for six consecutive months. If x is the number of months since the price began to drop and y is the cost of a kilogram of lentils, which of the following equations could model the cost of lentils over this time period? 
So since it's declining by 1%, it's an exponential function. So it can't be A and B. And the growth factor would be 0.99 because it will be 1 minus 1 over 100. So the answer is C. The equation above is true for all x greater than 2, where r and t are positive constants. What is r times t? Okay, so I can write 2 times x minus 2 plus 3 times x plus 5 as x minus 2 times x plus 5. So 2 times x plus 5 plus 3 times x minus 2. And this is equal to the right hand side. So I can equate the numerators. So 2x plus 10 plus 3x minus 6 is rx plus t. So 5x plus 4 is rx plus t. So r is 5 and t is 4. So rt will be 20. If ax plus a is 3, where a is a non-zero constant, which of the following must be equal to x plus 1? So ax plus a is 3. So taking a common, a times x plus 1 is 3. So x plus 1 is 3 by a. So d. What value of x satisfies the equation above? x plus 4 is 121. So x is 117. The box plots above summarize the distribution of the number of fish caught each day on two commercial fishing boats. By how many fish does the median of fish caught each day on boat B exceed the median for boat A? Okay, so the median is the line inside the box. So for boat B, that's 40. And for boat A, that is 35. So the difference is 5. If A is the mean and B is the median of nine consecutive integers, what is the value of absolute value of A minus B? So if there are nine consecutive integers, then the mean will be the fifth integer, right? Because there are four on the left and there are four on the right. So they cancel out when you add them and the fifth integer becomes the mean. And the median will also be the fifth integer because it's the fifth value, the middle value. So the difference is going to be zero. The equation above gives the height of an object above the ground, t seconds after it is launched from a platform. How many seconds after it is launched does the object reach the ground? So it is launched from a platform. So it reaches the ground after how many seconds? So h should be zero, which means y should be zero. So minus 16 t squared plus 64 t plus 80 is zero. So dividing by minus 16 throughout t squared minus 40 minus five is zero. So t minus five into t plus one is zero. So t is five or negative one. So after five seconds, the object will hit the ground. The formula above is Ohm's law for an electric circuit with current I in amperes, potential difference V in volts and resistance R in ohms. A circuit has a resistance of 500 ohms and its potential difference will be generated by N 6 volt batteries that produce a total potential difference of 6 N volts. If the circuit is to have a current of no more than 0.25 ampere, what is the greatest number of 6 volt batteries that can be used? Okay, so the current I should be less than or equal to 0.25. So 6n by 500 should be less than or equal to 0.25. So 6n should be less than or equal to 125. So n should be less than or equal to 125 by 6, which is 6 into 2 and 0 point something, right? So the greatest number of 6 volt batteries is 20.
In the xy plane, line k intersects the y axis at point 0, comma, negative 6 and passes through the point 2, comma, 2. If the point 20, comma, w lies on line k, what is the value of w? Okay. So the y intercept of the line is negative 6, and the slope will be 2 plus 6, 8 by 2, which is 4. So the equation is 4x negative 6. So then I can put 20 comma W here. So W is uh, 80 minus six, which is uh, 74. So the value of W is 74. In a science classroom, when labs are performed, students are seated at lab tables. If the teacher assigns two students to each lab table, four additional lab tables will be needed to seat all the students. If the teacher assigns four students to each lab table, four lab tables will not be used. How many students are in the science class? Okay, so let's say that uh, there are X lab tables, right? So if the teacher assigns two students to each lab table, then there are two X students, but then four additional lab tables will be needed. So you will have two X plus four into two, eight. Right? So this is the number of students. And if the teacher assigns four students to each table, so that's 4x, then four tables will not be used, which means 4 into 4, 16. So negative 16. So this is also the number of students, and this has to be equal. So then uh, we get minus 2x is minus 24. So x is 12. So that's the number of lab tables. So number of students is 12 into 2, 24 plus 8, 32. So there are 32 students. The number Y is 20% greater than the number X. The number Z is 20% less than Y. The number Z is how many times X? Okay, so Y is 1.2 X and Z is 0.8 Y. So that's 0.8 times 1.2x. So that's 0.96x. So the number z is how many times x? 0.96. Okay, let's grade this. Question one. B, C, C, A, B, B, C, C, A, B. Number six, A, double D, A, B, A, D, D, A, B, okay, 11, a, A, C, C, D, D. A, A, C, C, D, D. 17. C, B, A, D, A, D. C, B, uh, A, D, a, D, 23rd, D, D, B, D, D, C, D, D, B, D, D, C, 29, C, D, C, D, okay. The gridens, 31. One one seven five zero five. One one seven five zero five. Thirty five. Twenty seventy four. Twenty seventy four. Thirty two point nine six. Thirty two point nine six. Okay, great. So we got all correct.